Yo, what is up guys? Dealboy here. Before we get into this video, I wanted to quickly thank my Patreons. Thank you for supporting the channel. It doesn't go unnoticed and I really am grateful for your support, so thank you very much. And also, if you are new, if you could hit the subscribe button because it really helps me out. But into this story. So it's emerged over the past few hours that... Andy Ruiz Jr. apparently hasn't signed his half of the agreement for the Anthony Joshua rematch. Now, of course, this fight was announced yesterday for December the 7th in Saudi Arabia, but this latest news story kind of contradicts that. What on earth is going on here? First and foremost, I found this through Mike Coppinger. He's a boxing journalist, and he tweeted the following... Sources tell The Athletic, which is a sports publication, Andy Ruiz Jr. isn't expected to sign off on the rematch in Saudi Arabia unless he's guaranteed a significantly higher purse than the 9 million he's guaranteed to fight Anthony Joshua in the rematch. Those are the words of Mike Coppinger. My thoughts on this story? Well, I've got to say, from Eddie Hearn's perspective, and Matchroom's perspective, it looks very amateurish to announce a fight that apparently one party hasn't even agreed to. I honestly don't understand how something like this could occur in such a high magnitude event. Biggest fight of the year, and you've got stories like this coming out. Not professional, not a good look at all. As a boxing fan, I really hope to see this issue resolved in a quick manner, you know, within the next few days. Ultimately, I want to see a date scheduled for this fight because obviously it's a fight I'm really looking forward to. They need to get this issue sorted and they need to sort it quickly. One thing I wanted to touch on though in regards to Andy Ruiz Jr. He obviously beat Anthony Joshua back on June 1st. Great performance, upset of the year for new heavyweight champion of the world. He's the champ, right? And I get that he's trying to flex. I get that he's trying to impose his champion's rights, I guess. But ultimately, the guy did sign a rematch clause. The guy did sign a contract to say he would rematch Joshua should he beat Joshua. And that Joshua would have the final say where this fight is. I get the fact that he's negotiating, I get the fact that he's trying to increase his purse and get the fight at a venue that is either neutral or suits him. I totally get that, but at the end of the day, he was the guy who signed that contract that stipulated that Joshua would still get the lion's share in a rematch and that Joshua would dictate where this fight is held. So, listen, I think Andy Ruiz Jr. at this point is being a little bit difficult and maybe that's one of the reasons this fight is being held up but listen I, I get it from his perspective as a champion and I've got to say as a boxing fan from a purist's point of view I think Joshua should go back to America to fight Ruiz but listen Ruiz was the dude who signed the contract from what we've been told the guy has no say in the matter so eventually I think he needs to admit defeat and just get this fight on. And listen, I do say that as an impatient boxing fan, I want to see this fight happen sooner rather than later. It's a fight that has extremely high stakes. It really is win or bust for Anthony Joshua. Can Ruiz repeat or will it be revenge? It's a brilliant fight. It's set up perfectly. Biggest fight of the year, arguably. I want to see it. I want to see this fight Officially confirmed with no hiccups. That's what I'm waiting for. But anyway, share your thoughts below. Tell me how you feel about this story. Do you have any theories on what is going on here? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.